Crowman, one of the greatest and most handsome characters ever thought of. He can drink milk at sound speeds and raise women in a flash. Best of all, he is Swedish and knows how to handle making the videos. Speaking of videos, Crowman's rogues gallery of videos might as well be classified as hot chick heaven because there is such a mess of very cool and sexy videos that will make you love him even more. And since the new year is just around the corner, I thought it was only fitting to make a tier list on all Crowman's videos. Now grab yourself a jar of milk and say Ori and try not to reach through the screen and touch me. Because here we go! Hey! Have you missed me? Today, for today's video, what wouldn't YouTube's greatest supervillain talk about other than himself? Of course, I'm the greatest man on YouTube. What wouldn't I be if I didn't have a, a big chunk of narcissism right in my heart? Today, we're going to talk about the glorious videos. The glorious videos I've made. Glorious. We're talking about that and that's a little treat. I'll talk about every cassettes video I've been involved with the creation of. You don't know what that is? Well, bad for you. Today you're gonna learn. Bruh. I look pretty sans Undertale on this, don't I? Well, at the bottom of E tier, the only contender of E tier, I will say, is Super Five Nights at Freddy's. Now, this video was uploaded to the lovely Cassettes channel, if you are unaware, the Cassettes channel was a team effort where we uploaded videos together. And this was one of our first. Uh, the problem with this video is that there was a, a big hiccup in the recording process. We had two very hard to schedule people in it, and we thought, well, we can't get them for one in one day, I guess we just record everything in one night. We were done recording at 2 a.m. and guess how the people felt? Well, they felt like a rug that was filled with milk. I will tell you this, about the editing process of the video was a big mess. Let me just tell you, they don't really like big editing sequences, so it was very, very, very laggy. It was very laggy. Now, at the moment when we released this video, people, you know, liked it a lot, like my friends, right? But looking back on it, uh, yeah, it was, it was, it was just an unplanned mess. Just like Five Nights at Freddy's security breach! Well, um, welcome to D tier. At the bottom of D tier, we have Crow ST. Now, Crow ST was a, a, an album of songs I had made for Scratch projects when I did Scratch games. Were they good Scratch games? No. Did I get math grade from it for my school? Yes, I decided to upload them with this n neat little album thing of the main character of these games, which was a green cube named Player. I, I rate it so low because it's a video about songs that are very mediocre. Just like his YouTube channel. <laughs> also, I like the pun of Crow SD. Look like your fucking cells have never renewed in your entire fucking life. I hope this video reminds you of like old YouTube with the lighting and the gut till intro and Next on D tier, bloopers, outtakes and cutscenes. Not cutscenes, cutscenes. Number one apparently, because we were supposed to make more than one. Now this video, I wouldn't even say it's bad, but it, it just it contains a lot of footage from School of Pandemonium and for some reason we were just run out of bloopers to use so we just decided to reuse the ones from School of Pandemonium and there is some that went unused but a, a lot of that video is just School of Pandemonium honestly it's a good, it's a decent video but I think we needed more bloopers I think I think we just ran out of bloopers and we just kind of stretched it now am I critiquing my, my editing skills from two years ago? I am is that bullying? yes who am I bullying? me is that okay? yes Guys, guys, I'm I'm run I'm running back. Pick <laughs> up diamonds, craft some diamonds, make some armor, get it big, big enough for us. Like you so Warhammer lag tide to this video I actually kinda like. It's it has a special place in my little crowish heart, my little spade spade heart, you know. I, am I making a spade? Now the main joke of the video is lag and us freaking out about Warhammer, Warhammer tide lagging. Why is this happening, you may ask? Well we had a friend, or we have a friend right now. He's called 3W in the video. Now he's called Realun and he had stinky crappy poopy internet and he decided to host. Guess what happens? The game didn't really like that. And it made this mess of a video. Now, what I noticed from the video is that the people who are in the video think this video is the best video. People who are not in this video think this video sucks ass. Actually, I don't think it sucks ass, but I think it's boring. And that's even worse. I don't even get a negative reaction. There's no energy! There's no energy! With a new... Now you may wonder, what is a G-Boss mod? I love G-Boss. Me and Goose decided we should make a mod uh, out of Deltarune for G-Boss. It never came out, but we worked very hard on it. Now G-Boss used to ask us, where's the G-Boss mod? Are you working on the G-Boss mod? And as a response, 
Goose decided to glue this video together. That's right. Goose made this video. I didn't make this one. Why is it here? I uh, Goose wanted me to add it. And I think it's a pretty decent video. It, does, it doesn't really have any substance. It's just noise and visual stimuli. But that's never a complaint. Right, kids? At home, children. That of Pandemonium is a video, one of the videos that, video, videos we ever made. The original draft of the video, we had a lot more footage than the, the final product. And it got pretty dark because I'm too good at playing an uh, abusive father, I guess. I decided to slice it down and I, I changed the music to be Chaos King from Deltarune. And the video then came out pretty underwhelming. It, it feels like an intro to a bigger video, if you know what I mean. Like the kids dumping the dad could lead to maybe the dad coming back and haunting the kids and the kids having to deal with taxes or some shit, right? I feel like it's a missed opportunity of a video. But I'll rate it at kind of the middle tier because I think it's still a watchable video. It's so short. Give the video some love because originally the cast members did not love this video at all. Only I did. The Rebel Base. Metal Gear Goosey. <laughs> now that's just insane! Thing. Metal Gear Goosey has one of my favorite backstories to why we ever made that video. My friend Goose, he had been busy at the moment doing his own little IRL stuff, so we couldn't see him that often. So one weekend when we could see him, he went to the shower. So I trapped him in a box and I convinced Hugus and my friend Freelanders that we should make an entire RP bit for him to play through while I record him. He loved it! We did a little little thing about the Combine taking over a city and he's like this this sneaky guy and he, he takes out all the guys and then, then there's a twist villain. It's so cool. It's such a cool video. The only thing about it is that the video recording of the video got corrupted. So all the graininess you see from that and the weird colorization, it looks like that because it got corrupted. But I couldn't throw it away because it was too cute of a video. But it gets dragged down here because of that. Slippin' Jimmy! Spooky Halloween episodes. Don't you love those in kids shows? Well, I'm not a kid's channel, but maybe you feel nostalgic to being a child. And when you were happy? Phasmophobia episode on cassettes. Pretty cool, right? Now, we made a little Phasmophobia gameplay thing for Halloween. It's just a gameplay video of us playing Phasmophobia. It has some light editing on it. We talk about Slippin' Jimmy in one of the parts. You guys remember Slippin' Jimmy? I hope you don't. I thoroughly enjoyed that video, but there's nothing really spectacularly exciting about old Phasmophobia gameplay at this point. I've seen the game get a lot of updates and I haven't played it in like a year. Maybe there'll be a Crowman uh, cassette... LOUD! I hope you like things that are loud. Loud equals funny, and I don't care whoever says that it isn't. Uh, that's the entire video. Me, Goose and Ams went into Discord. And we just sat there uh, with shitty microphones and we're loud. Also, if you notice Undertale music in the background, that's me. I was listening to a song called Undertale from the game Undertale. It's the one that goes... Dun, 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 dun. I am home, Barbara. This will make my employment in the future impossible. Continuing down C tier, we're going to talk about the video called Christian and Barbara, new found footage. I made a video where Chris Chan is the lich from Adventure Time and he molests his mom. And I don't regret anything. And I think the video is pretty funny. But it's not my best work. Because the ending of the video is kinda bad. But I think the middle part and the beginning of the video is really funny. That's it. That's my review. <coughs> so at the top of C tier, we have Old Man Gets Tortured by Chili. This makes me sad because it, it, it involves my dear dad and he's in the video. I had to cut a lot of the video out because reasons and you know, I understand I wanted to be involved with this channel. Maybe they want to get a job in the future, but I don't! I don't want to get a job! I want to live with my mom and my dad for the rest of my life and they're going to love me. I hope. Real talk though, the video, it's just my dad coughing and being red. If you think that's funny, I, I think so too. But it's not everyone's taste to see an old man get tortured by chili. <laughs> There's also the best ending of any video where it's Furhund drinking water. I hope you guys thoroughly enjoyed that. Furhund, he's doing quite well. He's striped. He's not actually wearing his striped uniform anymore. He, uh, he likes biting his own balls. <laughs> he likes sucking his own wiener. <laughs> Welcome to B tier, guys. What's in the B tier? Let's not co op. The beach is back. That's pretty B of me. I rate these two on the same spot because they are just Half Life 2 synergy gameplay videos. And IG, I sure hope you guys like synergy gameplay. Synergy fucking sucks. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> a problem arised. We made a part three 
but just like Valve, we can't count to three, so it never came out. I hope you guys don't get too blue balled by that. I might have the footage left and I might make that one day. Probably not. It's funnier to keep you guys, you know, theorizing what we did. We beat Ravenholm. Also, um, I rate um, Violence Begins over Beach is back because I think Violence Begins is a, it's a better video. But that's about it. A Patreon. Hey, skibbity skibbity toilets. You guys like skibbity toilet, right? You know, you can find a TV man and fallout 4 believe me you can and just watch my video to find out but yeah this video is a turning point in my life where i switched over to making stuff on chrome man instead of cassettes and honestly i like it you had a lot of potential is that what you said are you fucking serious i hope you guys like some fnaf penis we have fnaf cock tier list or fnaf sausage tier list the real title is fnaf cock tier list but we couldn't have that on youtube i don't know why youtube wouldn't like that do you guys have any idea why youtube wouldn't like fnaf cock tier list as a title in this video no joke is the average conversation i have with people on discord my friends um this is not anything out of the ordinary but i think it's just a very funny video we even get goose and we even get g boss in the video how could you complain about that we also have Cloudy in the video, and we have Shamu, and we were talking about- Oh, Ams showed up for that one split frame and Poke as well. You know, editing it was a pain in my ass. Constant crashes. And I had to get so many pictures, and a lot of work on, on zoom-ins, and, and editing the audio and everything. But I think, in the end, it was pretty worth it. Hey, hey Linus, we're not gonna shoot up to school. <laughs> school of Pandemonium is a historical video for me. One of my actual favorites. After a year break, after Super Half-Life- Oh! You don't know what that is? This, this right here. I hope this shows up in the video good. Now, after the production issues of episode 3, I was burned out and I didn't make any videos for an entire year. Me and Hugos had discussions. We should team up and make a channel together. He does the live streaming, I do the videos. It didn't really work out like that because live streaming didn't really happen. But then Goose and Lethius joined and, and we decided to make a video called School of Pandemonium. Uh, it's about a teacher and some students and the teacher is kind of creepy and then a student shoots off the school. <laughs> and it might not be the best video when it comes to production wise. Does not have very good editing, maybe not ever, even good acting. It had no script, it was all improvised, just like this video is kind of improvised. Did you know that? Did you know that this video is improvised? All my videos are improvised. Huh? Huh? You like that, huh? You little slut. What's in the car crash? Shimia, shimia, shimia. Ooh, I was in a car crash. Ooh, what's up, fucker? Skibbity toilet. I don't know why I mentioned skibbity toilet so much in these early videos. I think skibbity toilet was a big thing at the time. I think it still is. It is right. Let me, let me flash the latest video at the time, right? Here. How many views does this have? I hope 60 million. There are videos that are fun to record, but they don't always turn out to be the best video. And this is the, the issue here. I, I remember recording this and it was a pure bliss. It was a fun video to record. I got to spend time with my dad. Without me, you guys wouldn't be alive! You guys like clip dumps? I do too. And a lot of my friends do too, I think. They all complimented me on this video in particular. Though I think it's a good video. And I think it's a funny video. The thing that makes it lower ranked for me just in A tier and it's not like a top tier video for me is because there was not a lot of thought behind this video. I thought, well, I might as well give my subscribers a little treat before Christmas. So I, I might as well make them a little clip dump. That's all I have to say about it, basically. Italian. You fucking dipshit. Okay, so one day me and Goose decided to record the most bad shit thing ever. We were doing Shadow of War impressions in the voice chat. Why? I don't know. Then I decided to turn on OBS and we literally just started role playing. For some reason, it just turned out to be the most lovely video I made on the cassettes. And I, I will just say I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed recording it. Editing it was even that bad. I got some support from Goose. He was the one who made all the images for the video. Fun fact, originally the video was actually kind of twice as long we went into an entire rant about Talion spending all their money on a diamond ring or whatever a marriage ring and Calibrim got really fucking heated yeah but it's one of my favorite videos who knows maybe we'll do a shadow of war dub someday huh would you guys like that like and sub and comment if you would like can we have your Addy Patty? This video was pure bliss to record. I've never ever had so much fucking fun recording a YouTube video before. Let me just say, I'll compliment some people involved. G Boss, I love you, man. Assis, you're pretty hot. We should date. Goose, you're pretty cool. 
you should join me in more videos. Now, I, I, I don't know, there's something about going on VR chat where everyone takes themselves incredibly serious and we try to fucking riss up women while acting like complete toddlers. Like, can I, you, 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 can I help your little boobies? <laughs> like, it's so fucking strange, the entire video. Now, the editing of the video took 14 hours. And guess what? Me, I sat there for 14 hours. Uh, I woke up on a Friday, late for school. I was like, oh, I'll, you know what, I'll just work on the video instead as i sat there for 14 hours like any healthy person video came out and worth it i don't think i'll ever go on vr chat again though but if i ever do we're finding real hoes by the way can i can i do a pickup line on you guys i i am i'm i'm, I'm i think i think my blood sugar is behind YouTube, welcome to my favorite, happiest, happy, happy, family friendly review! Hey YouTube, welcome to my happy YouTube family friendly review! Um, so this video was an ironic video about unboxings, right, or review videos for children. Now YouTube didn't pick up on that and they thought, this guy's making a YouTube video for children. No, I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that YouTube, please, forgive me. I look back on this video in the future and think, wow, who is that fucking weirdo? Who's that weird guy in the hat? And then, then I'll realize, Wait, that's me. That guy's pretty sexy. I decided that I, yeah, I should make a video joking about uh, reviews. There was an original video as well where I, I've been thinking about for years, which was making fun of the 30 second policy, right? Um, that YouTube had stated that you're not allowed to swear within the first 30 seconds of a video and suddenly that makes the video a-okay if you swear after that. But uh, yeah, I spilled milk everywhere in that house, actually in the kitchen, and the entire room smelled like milk. And I spilled milk on a hairdryer, and I ruined it. And the best video is gonna be the waifu with some video. Real talk, this video was recorded at 2am with my great friends, Jeevos and Ams. It started out as me trying to like, you know, weird them out and like, haha, this is so funny. Turned into an actual serious discussion about loneliness and how people fill that void with fictional characters. And like, I can't even say that me and Jeebos and Ams were like, we we're working on a video at that time. We were just talking. And halfway into it, I realized, maybe I'm not so different from these people. Maybe in a different time, this would have been me posting pictures of me and my waifu on the internet. It's probably one of the most genuine videos you have seen of me. Despite this being a, a narcissism video of me just saying I'm pretty cool, I think this video shows that we can be pretty cool and still have a serious discussion at the same time. Anyway, the video is pretty funny too. Triple Dog Death Barrage! So that is my ranking of tier lists, and I'll just put tier lists right there. Now we did an additional little survey from my friends because, you know, I didn't think like yeah, I would get a lot of votes from doing a community post. so. I'll post the, uh, the results right there. Winner is Garbage Dump. And second place is the VR chat video. And third place is my review of items. That's the favorite videos of my friends. 2024 is through and on the corner. I will say this, Happy New Year, okay? You guys have a new year, Happy New Year. I hope you do a New Year's resolution that is actually achievable. And, you know, do you guys have any idea what's gonna come out in 2024? Think about it real quick. Oh, I know, I know, I know. Oh? The Epstein documents! <gasps> That's true! The Epstein documents, guys! Can't we can't wait! Happy New Year, guys! I hope you guys see more of me next year. I'm gonna put in the tags for this video, so I'm gonna show up for your future name. Dude, do not fucking, I swear to god.